All right, Berkatha Yahweh, Berkatha Yahweh Shai, Kohola and La, Yahweh, Bahasha, Yahweh Shai, Baruch HaKodash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, Bahasha means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world angry called Jesus Christ. Baruch HaKodash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the only, the only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace, blessings, salutations to all your brothers preaching the gospel and truth and necessarily always a charity. And, um, Lord willing, it's going to be a, a, a quick little lesson. Lord willing, it's edifying. It's pretty much a response to the uh, Apostle Aramla lesson he entitled uh, No Matter What. And it was just going into, you know, uh, uh, the afflictions, you know, the different things that brothers are, are, are going through. So without further ado, let's hop right into the lesson. Now, when um, the apostle was speaking, uh, when I watched the lesson, it was something that popped in my mind. You know, uh, they got this uh, saying that's called it's just the tip of the iceberg. Because Apostle Ramlop, he was going into, you know, how, you know, brothers, you know, certain brothers, you know, they don't like expressing exactly what they're going through. And, you know, uh, other brothers might see brothers on, on, on YouTube and see them standing firm in the faith and, Seem like them brothers ain't suffering nothing. Them brothers ain't going through nothing. Well, what you see on YouTube is just the tip of the iceberg, you know. And um, this phrase and how it was applied was actually brought to me uh, uh, like four or five years ago from the uh, elder brother Zahab um, down at, uh, in the Mississippi camp. You know, we were just breaking bread uh, within a lesson, and he brought out this this concept. So. Um, it says the tip of the iceberg, a small and known part of something much larger and unknown. And when you go to it, you see the tip of the iceberg, man. It's just like, look at this one right here. You see the tip of the iceberg, man. It's just that little bit that scene. Well, that's what you see on the Internet. That's what you see on YouTube. But a brother personal life and what he's going through is what's under the water, man. You know? Look how massive that is right there. You know, and it's all uh, 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 just what we go through, you know, each each one of them. Matter of fact, let me get this first. This is a uh, Proverbs 14 and 10. It says the heart knoweth his own bitterness and a stranger doeth not intermeddle with his joy. So. Each one of our trials, of the, uh, afflictions, our, 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 our tribulations, our persecutions are all tailor made to each one of us, you know? So each one of us has our own bitterness. Like, like I might suffer something and the next brother might go through the same thing that I went through, but yet it might be more heavy or more, more, more physically or spiritually draining on him where he need extra encouragement or vice versa, you know? So one brother can't say, oh, you ain't going through this or I'm going through this more or no, nah, no, nah, man. The heart knoweth his own bitterness. We're all going through it. We were all, uh, uh, um, uh, matter of fact, let me just get the next one. Um, where is that? First Thessalonians. This is First Thessalonians. I'm going to start at three, uh, chapter three. I'm going to start at the top. It says, wherefore, when we could no longer forbear, we thought it good to be left at Athens alone and sent Timothy as our brother and minister of the Most High and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Yahweh Shai to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith. And that's what we do when we put out these electronic epistles through the spirit, you know, as, as the scripture says, in uh, what's that first Thessalonians four says, um, 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 comfort one another with these words. So this is the comfort of these words. The Holy spirit is what comforts us, man. You know, it's what's, uh, put us at ease knowing that hey, everything that we're suffering in is not in vain. It says to establish you, and to comfort you concerning your faith. And that's what it just, uh, let me jump over here. You know, see, I, I had it all set in order, but the spirit doing what it's doing. This is Acts 14 and 22. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples. Now you can uh, substitute that word confirming with establishing. Basically it's, it's strengthening. So that's what Timothy, Timotheus was sent to do, to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith. 
he was sent to do what? To strengthen the brothers, man. Right? So let's go back. Acts 14 and 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the heavenly father, man. And that ain't written. That ain't just that's there. <laughs> no, man, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom. Here it is, man. We're, 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 we're defiled, man. You know, we're through. So we got to be what? We got to be purified, man. So we got to uh, uh, get those impurities off us, man. We got to be uh, 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 um, um, perfected through the spirit, you know, for lack of a better word. So they go back to uh, first Thessalonians three and two and sent Timotheus, our brother and minister of the most high and our fellow labor in the gospel of Yahweh Shai to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith that no man should be moved by these afflictions for yourselves. Know that we are appointed thereunto. You see. So we are appointed unto that, man. This is our, let's, from there, let's go to the second edge seven. And I'm going to start at one. And when I made an end of speaking these words, there was sent unto me the angel, which had been sent unto me the nights of four. And he said unto me up Ezra, and hear the words that I am come to tell thee. And I said, speak on my power. Then said he unto me, the sea is set in a wide place that it might be deep and great, but put the case, the entrance were narrow and like a river. Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it? If he went not through the narrow, how could he into the broad? You know, and, and I like to envision this narrow river. You know, it's like a rapids, you know, a rapid river. It got jagged rocks, man, rushing water, you know. So you got to go through that rough patch in order to get to that calm sea, man. Right. Verse six. There is also another thing. A city is built it. And set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left, a deep water. And one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but no man go there at once. If the city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? So through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom. We are appointed unto this. So we uh, ought not to be moved by, by, by these uh, afflictions as we read. Verse 10, this is the point. And I said, it is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion, man. So our, this is our portion on this side. We have to go through the straight. In order to get to the broad, let's jump down to verse 18. Because this is the comfort. Verse 18, nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for why. See, our hope is what, 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 what drives us. Our hope is what 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 uh um keeps us grounded. Man, matter of fact, spirit just gave this. Oh, come on, bro. There you go. We just gave this. So this is uh, Hebrews six. This is Hebrews six, and I'm gonna start at eighteen. It says that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for the Most High to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us, which hope. We have as an anchor of the soul, you see. So that hope that we have within us, man, hey, hey, that, 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 that's what keeps us uh, 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 um, uh, uh, grounded. You know, just like what what is an anchor used for a boat? It keeps that that that, that boat steady. Well, it's the same thing, and it's our, our, our hope has us steady, both sure and steadfast, which entereth into that within the veil, whither the forerunner is for us entered, even Yahweh Shai. Made in high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. So Yahweh Shah is our hope. As Yahweh Shah saw, Yahweh Shah went through the things, man. We have the hope with uh, 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 that we're going to make it through just as he made it through, man. I believe I got one of these up here. This is, um, yep, 2 Corinthians 12. And 
let's start at six. It says, for though I would desire the glory, I shall not be a fool, for I will say the truth. But now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he see, seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of revelations and through the spirit, man, hey, hey, we, we all got abundance of revelations, man. These things are being made known unto us. Yahweh said, many kings and prophets seek to know the things that uh, that you that you know, to see the things that you see, to hear the things that you hear. So, so, so uh, part of these trials and tribulations, man, are meant to humble us, man, to let us know that, look, we are just men. As it is written, we have this uh, uh, treasure in earth and vessels that the glory may be of the most high and not of us, man. That's why. No, I'm jumping around, but hey, this is Acts 5 and 41. I'm going to start at 40. It says, and to him they agreed. And when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shai and let them go. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. And that's us through the spirit, man. Whatever situation, whatever trial, tribulation, whatever persecution we find ourselves in. And, and, and the Lord pulls us out of that, man. First and foremost, that shows, let's go back to this. That shows the strength of Yahweh Shah within us. You know. And it also means to humble us, but also to uh, 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 to to uh, uh, be uh, uh, glory, rejoice that you were counted worthy to suffer shame for the Lord's name. You know, and let's go back to Second Corinthians 12 and seven. And it says, unless I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me. Lest I should be exalted above measure, and and it's the same thing through the spirit as 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 uh, uh, Job, you know, Satan uh, uh, was fucking with Job, man. Well, it's the same thing through the spirit with us. Satan has has power to uh, 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 to touch to touch uh, our, our flesh, to touch our material things. The only thing that he can't touch is our life, man. So we get sick, you know. Brothers have different ailments in their body. Different uh, situations with your job, your, your your woman, your family, your house, your car, whatever it may be. It says, for this thing, I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Yahweh Shah may rest upon me, man. And this is easier said than done. But it says in Hebrews, the 12th chapter, man, hey, the suffering of the present time is not worth. That's, that's not it. That's not it. Um, um, fuck. That's not it. It's locky. Let me just grab it. Hebrews 12. Is that um, um, this word is this is uh, Hebrews 12. And eleven. This is this is what I was trying to quote. Hey, but the spirit had me quote that though, man. <laughs> you know, the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed. But anyway, this Hebrews twelve and eleven. It says, "Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby." And we must keep this within our spirits, man. This 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 is the comfort right here, man. You know that, that that what first off a a a, a counted worthy to suffer for your uh, 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 Yahweh Shai's name. Also, that whatever persecution, whatever trial and tribulation we find ourselves in, man, is meant to uh, 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 to purify us, and that when we make it out, when we make it through, Yahweh Shai's strength is shown within us, man. It says that the power of Yahweh Shai may rest upon me. It says I can do all things through Yahweh Shah that strengtheneth me, you know. So all these things is meant to uh, to have us uh, um, uh, relying on Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah more and more, man. It's meant for us to cry out to Him more and more. It's meant for Him to uh, uh, meant for us to trust in Him more and more. That's why in the Book of Sirach it, it speaks about a. Uh, um, uh, he that contemneth, he that despiseth the uh, little things 
small things shall fall little by little. You know, the Lord uh, show you little, uh, little things, man, that'll let you know that he's with you. You know, verse 10, this is 2 Corinthians 12 and 10. It says, therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Yahweh Shah's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. You know, so Yahweh Shah's strength is shown uh, when, 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 when we're uh, uh, making through these different persecutions. So let's go back to second Andrew 7 and 18. It says, nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for why we got the hope for they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things and yet shall not see the why. So Israel's portion as a whole is to go through the straight gate. So are you going to go through the straight gate with hope or are you going to go through the straight gate without it, <laughs> you know? And that goes back to the acts, man. The water Yahweh Basham Yahweh that we are counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. The different reproaches and persecutions and different things that we're going through. You know? Um, what's that? Uh, hit that Proverbs. We hit that too. So from there, let's just uh, uh, go down the list. This is uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 10. It says, but thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured, <clears throat> but out of them all the Lord delivered me. So that's the comfort within itself. It says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth out, out of them all. You know, verse 12, yea, and all that will live godly in Hamashiach, Yahweh shall suffer persecution. So we know this is what we're appointed unto. So we should keep this in the forefront of our spirits, man. You know, though it don't, don't seem, uh, it don't feel good. It don't, it ain't joyous at the moment when we're in it. But keep it in, in, in the forefront of our spirits to the best of our ability that this is perfecting us, man. And to Wadi Yahweh Basham Yahweh that we get to suffer and go through these things for his name's sake. From there, let's get uh, 2 Corinthians 11 and 22. It says, are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Yahweh Shai? I speak as a fool. I am more. In labors more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent, in depths offs. So this goes back to the Proverbs, man, where it says the heart knoweth his own bitterness. Like if if if, if Paul hadn't wrote this letter and spoke about these things, who would have knew that, that that Paul suffered all these things, man? But yeah, he did it to do what? To to uh, uh, to, to comfort the church. He spoke about um. That you faint not, faint not at my, uh, let me find that real quick. So I can bear with me. Yep, yep, to this is Ephesians chapter three. I started eleven. It says, according to the eternal purpose which He purposed in Hamashiach Yahweh our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of Him. Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Lord. So like unto the father of our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Um, I think it's another one too. I think it's another one. But, but that, that'll do. It says, wherefore I desire that ye faint not in my tribulations for you, which is your glory, which we're going to get back into it. To uh, explain what Paul was going into. It's back in uh, 2 Corinthians 11 and 24. It says, of the Jews... Five times received I forty stripes, save one. Thrice was I beaten with rods. Once was I stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day I have been in the deep. 
in journeyings often, in perils of water, in perils of robbers, in perils by my own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, in weariness and painfulness and watchings often, in hunger and thirst and fastings often, in cold and nakedness beside those things that are without that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. And you got to add that on to that too, man. You know, the apostles, the different, uh, the, the, the elders and the different heads of caps, man, what they got to deal with. The care of the church plus all this <laughs> in a personal life that they dealing with, man. Hey, but that goes back to Proverbs, man. Hey, hey, each man, uh, each heart know his own bitterness. And the Lord ain't going to put more on us than what, what, what he know that we can bear. So it's all uh, 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 balanced and beautiful in the spirit, you know, but the point is, is that we're all suffering. And it's an example of, 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 of the things that Paul went through in the different men of the Lord, you know, but yet they kept their hope alive, man. And it's the same thing with us through the spirit from there. Go, go ahead. Uh, this is a uh, first Peter chapter five and verse, um, I'll start verse eight. As a matter of fact, I'll start at seven. It says, casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. So all our worries, all the things that we go through, we want to put those in the things in the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. But it says, verse eight, it says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So that's right, man. So that's why we have to stay on our P's and Q's, because Satan desires to sift us, as it was told unto uh, Peter. All right. And you go into that word sift when Yahweh Shai told him that it means that inward agitation. So the trials and tribulations and so on and so forth, Satan all right, uh, is going to put certain things uh, on us to try and sift us, man, to agitate us to the point to where we just be like, fuck it. All right, I'm going to do whatever I want or whatever the case may be and lose the faith. But it says, uh, verse nine, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. So that's supposed to be a comfort unto us, man. All right. Like Apostle Rumlop had mentioned in this video, you know, a, uh, a, you ain't the only one that's going through it. You know, all brothers across the map are going through it in their own particular uh, walk. It says, um, but the power of all grace who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Mashiach Yahweh Shai, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. So that's right. Those afflictions, it helps us be grounded more. It increases us in our faith, you know, uh, makes us uh, cleave closer into Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's what it says in sec uh, Sirach, the second chapter. All right. Uh, when we're brought into, roughly paraphrasing, cleave unto him, man. So these things bring us closer until Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and increases our faith because uh, we know that he's going to deliver us. Every time he deliver, delivers us out of the tribulation, we have faith and know that, all right, the next time that I go through something, I have faith that the Lord is going to deliver me because I have examples in my life of him already doing it, not including uh, the examples of our forefathers that we go throughout the scriptures with. So it increases us each and every time, man. Yeah, that's um, this is uh, 2 Thessalonians 1. I'm going to start at 1. It says, Paul and Silvanus and Timotheus unto the church of the Thessalonians in the Most High, our Father, in the Lord Yahweh Shah, HaMashiach. Grace unto you in peace from Yahweh our Father, in the Lord Yahweh Shah. We are bound to thank the Most High always for you, brethren, as it is meet, because that your faith groweth exceedingly, and the charity of every one of you all toward each other abounded, so that we ourselves glory in you in the churches of the Most High for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure. So Paul is writing, commending them on what? Continuing in the faith, man. You see? Which is a manifest, manifest, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of the Most High, that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of the Most High, for which ye also suffer. You see? So these things we're going through is, is, is what, man? It's a, a manifest token of the righteous judgment of the Most High, 
that we may be counted worthy of the kingdom, man. What do you know what I say in the book of Luke? He said, ye are they which continue with me in my temptation. And I'll appoint unto you a kingdom as my father hath appointed unto me. That's why first Peter four and one says, what uh, 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 that that Yahweh Shai have suffered in the flesh, arm ourselves likewise with the same mind. So it's all about what? It's all about suffering on this side. You know? It's all about accepting it. It says this, this is the condition of the battle in second Edges the seventh chapter, so we gotta embrace it, man. That's why the scripture says, put on the whole armor that you may be able to stand, and having done all to stand. So this is a battle that we're in. This is a war. So we we got to be equipped and, 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 and ready to deal with whatever comes our way, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. You got something? Okay. Uh, first uh, Peter chapter four and verse 13 or 12, it says, Beloved, thinking not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. That's right, because as the brother read in that Thessalonians, we know that we were appointed to go through the fiery trial. All right, which is going to purify us. Verse 13, it says, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Mashiach, Yahweh sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Mashiach, happy are ye for the spirit of glory and the most high resteth upon you. So that's it. So being reproached, going through the cell, all right, to suffer, with Yahweh, as the scripture says, we're going to be glorified with him. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. But you know, hey, that's it right there, you know? That's it, that's it. Um, it's back in um, 1 Thessalonians 3 and 3. It says that no man should be moved by these afflictions for yourselves. Know that we are appointed thereunto. For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation, even as it came to pass, and ye know. So that's the rock two and one. When you come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. Acts 14 and 22 that the Spirit had us bring out early. Through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom, man. Right? Verse 5. For this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to know your faith. Lest by some means the tempter have tempted you and our labor be in vain. You see, so he, he's reaching out, seeing the, uh, uh, the estate of the brothers that's within the church of Thessalonia, uh, Thessalonica to see if what? If they stand firm in the faith, man, or did Satan sift them like the brother, uh, uh, he quoted the scripture earlier. The tempter is talking about Satan. Unless the tempter have tempted you and our labor be in vain, you know? So he's he's checking on the brothers, the, the care of the church to make sure that those brothers is, is, is comforted, man, through the spirit is verse six. But now when Timothy came from you unto us and brought us good tidings of your faith and charity and that ye have good remembrance of us always desiring greatly to see us as we also to see you. Therefore, brethren, we were comforted over you in all our affliction and distress by your faith. And that's a comfort within itself, too, because here it is. We know the apostles and elders is going through it, man. They 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 suffering what they suffering on a daily, you know, day to day life. You know, the different uh, 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 elders and brothers, man. But yet. When we continue to stay firm, when we continue to do what we got to do, that comforts them, man. And that's mighty in the spirit, man. To make sure that we doing what we got to do, man, to stay firm and continue to push this word. That comforts the elders and the apostles. They going through all kind of shit, you know, Satan plague in their mind and, and, and the same thing as us, man. But yet when you see a brother doing what he got to do, you know what I'm saying? Here it is. The apostles, hey, they endure all things for the elect's sake. So when they see brothers hey, 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 pushing through it. Continue to give praises to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. Hearing the different report of the churches and his good reports coming back, man. Hey, that's a comfort through the Spirit unto them, man. As Paul was comforted through the through the uh, the good tidings. Let's read that again. First Thessalonians three and six. But now when Timothy came from you unto us and brought us good tidings of your faith and charity, and that ye have good remembrance of us always. 
desiring greatly to see us as we also to see you. Therefore, brethren, we, the apostles, right, were comforted over you in all our affliction and distress by your faith. And that's mighty, man. That's that, man. It says, for now we live if ye stand fast in the Lord, man. So everything that the apostles and elders are suffering, when they see us standing firm in the faith of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shah, doing what we're supposed to do, they can rejoice, man, because they know that they labor is not in vain. And that's what gives them the fire. That's what gives them the faith and the hope to continue to push. And vice versa with us, brothers, man. You have an affinity, a love towards the brotherhood, man. Hey, man, hey, hey, you just want brothers to abound more and more, man. This verse nine. For what thanks can we render to the most high again for you? For all the joy wherewith we joy for your sakes before our power. Night and day pray seemingly that we might see your face and might perfect that which is lacking in your faith. And that's what these lessons are for, man. This is the body edifies itself in love. So a lot of times the apostles can't be here with us face to face, but yet they, they, they make those daily edifications, man. They make those videos, you see, that they might perfect that which is lacking in our faith. Verse 11. Now, Yahweh himself and our father and our Lord, Yahweh Shai, direct our way unto you. And the Lord make you to increase and abound in love one toward another and toward all men, even as we do toward you. To the end, he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before the Most High, even our Father, at the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shahamashiach, with all his saints. It says, to the end, he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness, man. We got to remember the different trials, tribulations, and persecutions we suffer. This is 1 Corinthians 14. Uh, I don't think it's 14. Let's see. No, it's not 14. It's lucky. Um, it's lucky. Bear with me. You're a chance. Was that in Corinthians when you were uh, you were attacking? Yeah, so you be not judged with the world, condemned with the world. Is it uh, uh, ten and uh, thirty-one? Ten and thirty-one. It's uh, First Corinthians chapter uh, eleven, Salakia. 11 and uh, 31 it says for if we would judge ourselves we should not be judged and that's what the continually examination to make sure that what we uh measuring up to the scriptures to the best of our ability go ahead verse 32 but when we are judged we are chastened of the lord so what when we go through our trials our tribulations when we go through those persecutions that's what a, ch a chastening of the Lord, man. Go ahead. That we should not be condemned with the world. So the Lord may present us blame, uh, blameless, man, in holiness. You see? So, hey, hey we glory in tribulations. We, we, we glory in those things, man. You know? Thankful to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah that, that, that we are being counted worthy to suffer for his name. This is James 5 and 10. It says, take my brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction and of patience. You know, and you go through the different examples of the prophets, man, and what they suffered, man. Hey, 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 they went through some hell. Look at Jeremiah. He was thrown into a pit. He was thrown into the, uh, the prison house. You know. You got a. Uh, um, um, uh, 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 the Maccabees with the seven sons, man, how they were uh, tortured. By Antiochus, whole ass. 
Yeah, yeah. John was beheaded. You know, Yahweh Shah spoke about how they, uh, uh, they slew, uh, uh, was it Zechariah on the altar, if I'm not mistaken? You know? Verse 11. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very, very pitiful and of tender mercy. You know, so so we can read the book of Job and we can see what Job went through. But yet Job maintained uh, uh, his integrity, man. He said, though the Lord slay him, yet will he maintain uh, his trust in him. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture. So it's the same thing with us. What was Job's mindset? Shall, shall I receive good of the most high and, and, and not evil? Was well, the same thing with us, man. Hey, hey, you see how much good the Lord has given us? We revealed his word. He gave us his name. We got the true doctrine. Whatever trials and tribulations and, and afflictions we go through, it can never outweigh that. <laughs> you know, so the Lord gave us way more good than the hell that we catching, man. As it is written, once again, the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that, 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 is, that is to be revealed, man. From there, let's go to uh, Hebrews 11 and 32. Well, did you use own Hebrews? Yeah. It's Hebrews 11 and 32. It says, and what shall I what shall I more say for the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and of Jephthah, of David also and Samuel and of the prophets who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lions. What, what happened with uh, uh, Daniel? Daniel was thrown into the lions then, you know, quenched the, the violence of fire escaped the edge of the sword out of weakness were made strong what do we read in, in in second corinthians man about what 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 paul was writing about about his thorn in the flesh wax valiant in fight turned to flight the armies of the aliens women received their dead raised to life again and others were tortured not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection yeah that, that's that's what the seven sons in the book of uh, second maccabees 7 and others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yea, moreover of bonds and imprisonments. And that's why Hebrews 12 says what, man? We have not resisted uh, uh, unto blood. So so if Jake fainting through the things they going through now, man, hey, well, shit, just wait till this great wrath come down upon us, man. Our forefathers went through hell, man. And yet they believed they maintained they hope was the same thing with us through the spirit. You know, we got a channel <laughs> channel, you know, we got channel these same characteristics uh, that our forefathers had. Verse 37, they were stoned, they were sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. But here it is. We got a old bed we can sleep in you know what i'm saying jake you know gotta got you got get you a little you got your woman you can go get get, get you a hot plate some food <laughs> you know what i'm saying it says in these all having in these all having obtained a good report through faith receive not the promise the most i having provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect, man. And that's reincarnation right there, man. We had to go through all these things, man, to make it to this end time right now, you know? But anyway, this is uh, Romans 5 and 1. It says, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with the Most High through our Lord, Yahweh Shah, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace where we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of the Heavenly Father. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Why is that? Knowing that tribulation worketh patience, meaning what? We're, 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 we're suffering. When we go through those tribulations, hey, it, like, like it, we read, no chastening of the uh, present time seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. So, it, but within that, within that suffering, guess what, man? We, we, we learn how to, uh, 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 um, what's the word? We learn how to follow the spirit. Like it says in Sirach 2. It says, when thou art cast down, you know, uh, make not haste. 
So when we're in those uh, the, 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 those uh, hardening moments, that's when we can reflect and sit back and and actually uh, 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 like like equalizer. You know what I'm saying? Like when he was in those moments where where it was danger, shit slowed down. And he was able to, to function within it was the same thing with us through the spirit. Instead of majority of people, when they when they get in an uncomfortable situation, they panic. The case. They make haste and then they because they want to get out of that situation. So, right. you know what I'm saying? But here it is. The Lord allows us to what sit back and, uh, uh, and, 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 and assess the situation. And then through the spirit, we can see the way out. You know what I'm saying? The right. first Corinthians uh, 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 10 and 13. Because every temptation has a way out, but Jake panic and they make haste and now they make the wrong decision. So it says we glory in the tribulations also knowing that tribulation worketh patience and patience experience. So the things that we're suffering, the things that we're going through, we're, uh, we're getting the experience out of that and experience hope because the more things we experience is the more hope that we have in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, like the brother explained earlier. Like I have confidence that the Lord is going to deliver me out of this situation because he delivered me out of all the other ones before. So that increases our hope, that increases our faith in the Lord. And that keeps us what? Relying on him, crying out to him, drawing closer and closer to him. And through these different situations, it humbles us as well, man, which we need, <laughs> you know, yeah, I know I do, you know, verse five and hope maketh not ashamed because the love of the heavenly father is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. So when we're going through these things, man, it shows that uh, the, the love of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah upon us, man. Once again, in Hebrews, the 12th chapter, it says, what? If ye be without chastisement, the chastisement, then are ye bastards and not sons, because the Lord chastens who he loves. So when we find ourselves in these trials, tribulations and persecutions, it's because the Lord is, is showing his love upon us, man. From there, let's go to uh, Psalms 119 and uh, 49. It says, remember the word unto thy servant upon which thou hast caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction for thy word hath quickened me. So the word has made me alive, man. And, and, and King David said, what? Upon which thou hast caused me to hope. So this is our hope. Our hope was within this word. And within the Lord's word, the Lord said, what? If you do A, B, C, X, Y, Z, if you come to me, repent, you forsake your sins, you forsake your own thoughts. If you lean upon me, then I got you. I'm going to guide you. I'm going to deliver you. And that's where our hope lies, man, within these words. This is uh, Psalms 119, jump down to one, uh, 81. It says, my soul fainteth for thy salvation. We can't wait, man. We're crying out to the Lord, man. Baba Kusha, Lord, how long? Different things that we're suffering, different things that we find ourselves in, man. It says, in thy word. Because what? This hope is what keeps us. This is Psalms 27 and 13. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You see? So that hope is that anchor is what drives us. It's what pushes us. Because we know that the Lord's word will not come back void, that he's that he's going to accomplish his word, man. And that goes back to the patience. So now we now we hey, hey, now we got to we got to patiently wait, you know. Verse 14, wait on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. That's all this is about, man. It says, be of good courage, man. So, hey, hey, take it with a good heart. And how do you do that? By having your mind stayed upon the Lord. And how do you do that? Keeping your mind in the scriptures. Because this is our comfort. This is what guides us and quickens us and lifts us and encourages us, you know. From there, let's get to Sirach 14 and 2. It says, blessed is he whose conscience, whose mind have not condemned him and who has not fallen from his hope in the Lord, man. Key word, it keeps saying hope. Maintain the hope, <laughs> you know, we got to we, we got to continue to push. Uh, uh, what, what did Paul say? Um, 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 I press toward the mark to the high calling of the Lord, man. We got to continue to press toward that mark, man, no matter what. 
no matter what, because we know that he is faithful that promised. This is uh, Psalms 119 and 114. It says, thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. And that's all it's about, you know. Psalms 130 and 5. I wait for you, how about Sham Yahweh My soul doeth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. You know, and you had different, uh, back in Israel in ancient time, you had what? You had watches upon, you know, that would watch for, uh, 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 for the morning, to watch for the, uh, the different moons, watch for the sword coming. He said, man, I, 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 I watch for the, I wait for the Lord and, and, and watch more than, than them guys, man. And that's their job. So it's the same thing with us, man. How, how, how do we wait and watch for the Lord? By, by, by Habakkuk, the second chapter. Staying occupied. You know, the Lord said, occupy till I come. First Corinthians 15 and 58, Paul said, what? Always abounding in the work of the Lord, man. Be ye steadfast, unmovable. From there, let's get um, Psalms 147 and 11. It says, Yahweh Basham Yahweh taketh pleasure in them that fear him and those that hope in his mercy. And that's what we're hoping for. This is uh, Sirach 34 and 14. Whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. And the Lord got us, man. You know? That's why I quoted the scripture earlier. I'm gonna just grab it now. Spirit on me. Um, I believe it's Sirach 19 and 1, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it says, A laboring man that is given to drunkenness shall not be rich, and he that contemned small things shall fall little by little. That word contemned means despise small things. So he that despises small things shall fall little by little. And that's what paying attention to the little things, man. Huh? Like here it is, we'll be on the line and you'll have a whole Edomite walk past and say, you guys doing a great job. You guys are, are, are doing a good work. Continue to do what you're doing. Now the carnal mind is like, man, this Edomite don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Get up the street. But a spiritual man judges all things. A spiritual man are receiving the spirit that the Lord put the spirit on that man to see that, man. Because what we're doing is a good work. We should continue to preach. We should continue to uh, uh, stand firm. And that'll happen throughout your day to day life, man. It'd just be a random person that'll come tell you something, man. And that'd be the Lord speaking to you through the spirit, man. And that's just a small example of, 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 of this paying attention to the little things, the small things, man, because those small things, those little things will build your faith greatly. You know, this is the, the book of Psalms 146 and five. It says, happy is he that have the power of Jacob for his help, whose hope. It's in Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, his power, which made heaven and the earth, the sea, and all that they're in, which keep the truth forever, which executed judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord looseth the prisoners. The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind. The Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. And, 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 and these are all words of comfort, man, because why? Because all these, these are us, man. This is speaking about us. The Lord preserveth the strangers. He relieveth the fatherless and widow. But the way of the wicked he turneth upside down. The Lord shall reign forever. Even thy power, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise ye, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh. And that's all the scriptures I had through the spirit, man. You know, Lord willing, I hope that was um, exhorting. You know, hope that was encouraging through the spirit. So why do all you brothers for tuning in, man? You few sisters that may be watching as well, to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Machakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel of truth and sincerity, always in charity. Shalom, Laila Tuah.